What is risk-based testing then? Well, risk is the possibility of a negative or undesirable event or outcome. Okay, seems obvious enough. Two important elements of that definition there. The one is this word possibility. Okay, that which is certain is not a risk. Okay, it's a constraint. Right. That which is impossible is not a risk. That's something we don't need to worry about at all, right? So, you know, I don't need to worry about floating up and hitting my head on the ceiling because gravity works, right? So it's impossible, so it's not a risk. I don't have to worry about it, right? Um, you know, the, the certainty, well, you know, the old line about uh, death and taxes, right? So neither of those is actually a risk. The amount of taxes and the time and, and means of death, I suppose, are risks, right? But, but anything which is certain should be thought of as a constraint. Okay, so when you're going through and doing risk analysis, if you come across something and you say, wow, well, the likelihood of this is 100%, well, it's not a risk. It's a constraint. It's something that you have to manage as part of managing the overall project, okay? So it has to be possible. In other words, it has a probability greater than 0% and less than 100%. And it has to be negative or undesirable. That's the second element. Okay? It has to be a bad thing. There's a possibility that somebody could walk into this room right now with a gold Rolex watch and hand it to some random person in this room. It, it's greater than zero possibility. <laughs> Not much greater than zero. But, you know, it is possible. But that's not a risk because it's not a bad thing. Right? Maybe you want a Rolex watch. Maybe you don't, but it's still worth a lot of money. You sell it and you keep the money, right? Either way, you're happy. See what I mean? So, two key elements. Possibility, negativity. Okay?